I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Kim Cassius IFL TV proudly sponsored by Everlast. O'Hara Davis, first of all, congratulations. Stunning win here in Newcastle. And uh, listen, I'm sure you'll share the sentiment as we hope Lewis Richardson's okay because he was down for quite some time there. Um, I did speak to him. He looks fine. He looks okay. You know, I caught him. It was a really good shot. And um, he was down for a couple of minutes, but then he got up and he looks back to normal. I had a little chat with him and his dad and his coach. They're a great team, and um, I'm thankful to have the opportunity that I've had. Thanks to Lee Ian. Thanks to Will Jones, Junior, Ian, my team. They've done a great job. For this camp, I've been focused, Coogan, for the first time in my life. The first camp in my life. The first camp in my life I've been focused for. I've dedicated so much of my time, so much of my life, my last few months. I didn't go out to one bar, one club. I didn't go meet no friends. Like, I usually, I'm usually not focused in Camp Coogan. I'm usually here and there and everywhere. Arrogant personality. Now I say, you know what, I'm just going to be myself. Whether that sells or not, it's going to be me, O'Hara Davis. Talk to me about the first half of the fight. Obviously, uh, it was a dominating performance from yourself and you were breaking Lewis down round by round, as it seemed. And then obviously you got the finish um, late on. But talk to me about the first half of the fight. Listen, the first half of the fight, Lewis Fitzsimmons a lot better than I thought he'd be. He's a lot bigger than I thought he was. You know, he's got long arms, he's got a really good jab. I knew that he's got a good jab. Before I came in the fight, I knew that he's got a good jab, but his jab was a lot better than I thought it'd be. He kept on popping the jab, popping the jab, catching me with the jab. <laughs> but the body shot kept on working, Coogan. I kept on throwing the left shot downstairs and it kept on working, but he just weren't going down. I thought, you know what, Coogan, I'm going to go to the head. I thought, you know what, Coogan, I'm going to go to the head. I tried to hit him to the head and, um, and he just weren't going down. Oh. Now, you're mandatory for the world title. By the end of this year, you get your world title fight. All right? Um, talk to me about the finish. Listen, I kept on, I kept on going downstairs. I see that he was hurt quite a few times, but he just weren't going down, Coog. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna try to go upstairs. I kept on hitting him to the head, he weren't hurt, he weren't budging, but then my team and my corner kept on saying he's hurt downstairs, keep on going downstairs, keep on going downstairs, you know what, I said, you know what, I mean listen, I just threw the shot downstairs and he went down and I said, you know what, I think they know what they're doing and they know what they're seeing. You were very confident obviously going into this fight, um, probably the most confident I've ever heard you talk uh, before a fight. I was so focused for this camp. Listen, I was for the first time in my boxing career, Coogan, I've been focused. In my career, I'm always in, in the gym, I did, I'm out and about here and there, go meet a few friends, might go top golf, play pool, snooker, bowling. For this camp, Coogan, I went to the gym, I went home. If I weren't in the gym, I had my feet up. My feet was up if I weren't in the gym. Where was your Christmas day? In the gym. I was in the gym. Christmas Day, Coogan, I was in the gym. And I said, when I'm this, when I'm on it this much, and that focus, I don't see myself getting beat, Coogan. I don't see myself getting beat. I'm a good fighter when I'm not focused. When I am focused, I think I've got it in me to be a great fighter. You, you of all people know exactly what kind of opponent, what's that? Um, what kind of opponent Lewis Ritson is and what kind of performance he would put in there. And it was a brave performance from Lewis Ritson. I knew that Lewis Ritson is a good fighter. People say that he was on the decline. I knew this is a big fight. He's the biggest fight of his boxing career. I don't care whatever decline you've seen in his last fight. I'm going to see the best Lewis Ritson in this fight. I knew that because this, is, this, is, this fight... It's the biggest fight of my boxing career. And I said, you know what, it's the biggest fight. I've got to be focused. I don't care what this tour in my last few fights. I'm a quitter. I'm this, I'm that. For this fight, I'm a work fucking hard career. And, what, and whatever quit they saw in that last fight, this fight is not happening. I'm a different person. I'm a different animal. I'm a focus like I've never focused in my life. And I was the best me and he was the best him. Um, but he is a lot better than I thought he was. The jabs, the jabs were so good. The jabs were so good, Coogan. Just here, Lee Eaton there, saying to you that world titles in the off in there somewhere so that's got to be your kind of immediate future there chasing that world title this was always my goal my dream and you know my boxing career has been up and down i've been focused and i ain't been focused and then you know i've been thrown under the bus and then you know people think i fell off people thought my boxing career was over i've been through so many ups and downs now 
I'm at the top Coogan, I'm at the top that I've ever been and now I'm going to keep the good people around me. I'm not going to be out like I was last time, new friends every day, different girls every day. Now I'm going to be focused, whether I'm in camp or not, I'm, I'm going to be focused as hell and um, I believe I can become a world champion. Jones, what's happening? Have you got a face time there, mate. Yeah, hey, my friend, how you doing, Sam? Do you know you're on an interview? <laughs> Thank you very much, Sam. I hope your operation went well. I know you had an operation. I hope, I hope it went well. It, it did. Listen, Lewis Ritson's a great guy, a really great guy. And he was very respectful in your post fight interview, and you deserve a world title shot. Now, congratulations to you, and well done, Will Jones, as well. He deserves a mention, but I'm very proud of you. Well done. Thank you very much, Sam. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to phone you tomorrow. Take I'll phone you. Guys. Take care, bro. Take care, care bye. I was going to come on to that. Um, obviously, your team behind you, Will, etc., Lee. Yeah, just wanted to use uh, an opportunity to talk about them first. Listen, my culture team, they've done a great job, a tremendous job. Will Jones, Junior Saba, we've got Ian. Oh, mate, where's Ian? Ian always sits in the back. Listen, let's put the camera on Ian for a second. Oh, okay. Ian, <laughs> no, Ian always, Ian always sits in the back. Just show, just show, go on, have a little smile, Ian. No, just say hello. Hello, you are, Ian. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as the fight was done, I said to everyone, yes, we're celebrating, but if it wasn't for Ian, I wouldn't have won this fight, Coogan. Do you know how tired I would have got? This guy was, listen, from the first bell, the punches being thrown and the pressure that I was under. Ian got some, um, what Ian does with us on the track is what got me in the best shape I've ever been in. I've ever been in, kills me on the track, on the track, on the stairs, the runs, the fitness. It's all Ian. It's all Ian. Everyone plays their role. And that's what Ian does, and Ian's the best at what he does. And you know what? After the fight was done, the first thing I said is, where's Ian? The guy was all the way in the back. The guy wasn't even down in the corner with us. And um, yeah. listen, as you know, I just want to appreciate my team. And I know if it wasn't for them, I'm not doing anything on my own. Yes, I'm the one that fights, but I ain't doing, I ain't doing nothing on my own. We've got Lee Ian doing a good job as well. Mate, I'm not doing nothing on my own. It's, it's, it's all the team around me, and I'm just a player that plays my part. Well, Will Jones, who doesn't really favour the camera, but we'll ask you a quick word. I don't like the camera to look like a thumb. Why have you put the camera? <laughs> 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 yeah. What do you want? What do you want? The, the quicker you talk, the quicker we can take the camera off you. What, what do you want? What do you want to know? <laughs> what did you have for dinner today, mate? I don't know. About his performance. No, listen. He he listened. He listened well. I feel like we could have got Lewis out there a bit earlier if he'd done a little bit of a second phase and attacked him a bit more when he hurt him. But listen, he done the job. Um, no, I don't think no one in the boxing deserves this uh, opportunity more either because Zawara has worked hard. He um, he's had a bit of a bad time last few years, but like there's light at the end of the tunnel for him, and I and I do think he like I said, I've said it in every interview I've, I've had. Zawara will win a world title. Okay, uh, final word to you, Ahara. There's no talk of Big Macs and uh, KFCs tonight. For the last few months, I didn't have a Twix yet, I ain't had a burger, I ain't had nothing, Coogan. I've been so focused, I've been in the meal preps, Coogan. Now, as soon as it's done, where are we going? KFC, Five Guys, uh, to the Indian shop, to the, I'll go get a Chinese, I'm going to go get everything that's not healthy, Coogan. As long as it's not healthy, I need that in my stomach right now, before we talk about what fights next, what title money. Listen, uh-uh, give me a burger first, Coogan. Fair enough. Congratulations, O'Hara Davis. We'll let you crack on with the rest of your night. We'll probably see you back at the hotel. Thank you very much, Keegan. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light. Yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here, and this has been like a therapy session.